my kako welcome to my channel so the look i have on right now is a bronzy sort of nude summery look with a little bit of drama there were some complications filming this so i apologize beforehand but if you are interested in learning how to get this look keep watching okie dokes we're gonna get started with the elf bb cream with spf 20 which is perfect for the summertime i got this at target and it was the darkest shade that was available though i did my research and saw there were six shades so three were missing from the shelves but i guess that's okay the shade I got is in Nude, which looks alright on me now, but it's definitely not my perfect match. I'm just going to apply a light cover all over my face with a foundation brush I got from Ross from the brand Elite. The brush is better for powder, I think, but it works just as fine with liquid. Just gotta wash it thoroughly after each use if you're not lazy. I don't like putting too much coverage over my skin because I like a little more natural look so I just want to hide some faded acne scars and sun induced freckles on my cheeks. I'm pretty lucky my skin is overall blemish free so I don't need full coverage or anything. As you can see it looks like I have a brown sunscreen on me. I have oily skin during the summer so it's really unflattering right now but using a matte setting powder will make the oily looking shine go away. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 330 Toffee and I'm going to set it all over my face, specifically where my oils like to come out during the day, which is by my nose, on my cheek, and um, above my forehead. Not above my forehead, like on my forehead, on the side, by my temples. So I'm using the Sun and Bras, Bras, Bronze NYC Bronzing Powder in the shade Hamptons Radiance 706 and I'm just going to lightly contour my cheeks a little bit so that they're a little more defined. I have a wide face so that would be nice to look like I got some actual cheeks going on there. I'm just going to put it on the bottom where my chin is just so there's more definition down there. A little shadow casting put it on my forehead so it looks a little more natural and it's not so light up there i have a naturally dark forehead i don't know why and i'm just going to lightly contour define my nose a little bit not that it does much but whatever so from tarte they gave me a bronzer um, in my Ipsy July bag, my glam bag, but it's too light for my skin. So I've been using it as a highlighter, which I like better because it's got a really golden look to it. It makes me look super shiny. I'm going to add it to above my eyebrows and on the bridge of my nose as well. That look is because my camera is dying and I do not have any extra batteries. But onto my blush, I'm using a matte blush that I got from um, Ross from Beauty Treats. With an angled blush brush also from Ross, I'm just going to lightly blush my cheeks a little bit. I chose a darker sort of brownish color to make it more bronzy looking instead of like the normal pinkish reddish blush. From my Bare Minerals palette, I'm using Libation to set the base of my eyeshadow. So I'm putting it all over my lid. Then using the eyeshadow Spiked and with an e.l.f. crease brush, I'm going above where my crease actually is to pretend I have a crease and then going down towards the inner corner. Then I'm blending it out, then doing the same for the other side. So this is kind of like for monolids. Um, you want to give that impression that you have that beautiful crease and that you have that double lid. It's just a little, a neat little trick that we have to do to survive out in here. So you just keep blending it in. And then using my Urban Decay Ammo Palette, I'm using the Smog shade to darken out the crease with a uh, crease with the same crease brush from Elf. Using a blending blush from Elf, I'm just going to blend the colors together where my crease is 
just to make sure that it there's no harsh lines it looks a little bit smoky but not too much you just want to make sure that there's no like obvious blocks of color there and you want to blend it in real good using a nyx roll-on shimmer i'm going to apply that to the inner corner of my lid and spreading it out with a brush not using the roll-on I used the Ammo Palette Polyester Bride Shade to define, not define, to highlight my brow area. And onto the eyebrows, I'm using the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in medium. And I'm just going to define my eyebrows a little bit, just subtly. Using the e.l.f. Clear brow and lash mascara, I'm just going to apply it to my brows to make sure it, the hair stay in place. And with my Sephora gel liner, I'm going to add a little tiny itty bitty cat eye. I don't even know if it's considered a cat eye, but I'm just going to make a pointy tip. Just a small little bit. I'm using the bottom curve of my eyeballs to set where the curve should be on my eyes, if that makes sense. Gently with the eye, eyelash gel, I'm going to apply it to my eyelashes to get it ready for the false lashes which I'm very new to, so I'm not going to show you how I put it on because I am not qualified. And I like to add a little more gel liner to my eyes to cover any glue or mishaps. And then I'm going to go over the falsies with my mascara. Using the Tarte highlighter, I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of my eyes and then spreading them, them out to the bottom of my um, eyelashes. Then with the color I used in my crease, I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my bottom lash line. Then blend the both together. I touch up my highlighter a little bit since it's faded since I first put it on. Then for my lips, I'm using the NYC Intense Lip Color in Brooklyn Brownstone. When I put it on, it looks basically exactly the color of my lips, but I don't know, I really like that. So I just line my lips and then I put it all over. Then using the NYX or NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee, I'm going to apply it over my lips for that glossy finish. Ta-da! Here is the finished look. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, concerns. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you in a later one. Holy shit.